Walmart Wednesday. I am thrilled to be here with all of you. Welcome again to everyone who is new here. I thank you for being here today. And of course, welcome to my old faithfuls. How is everyone today? Well, I'm excited because I have more, yes, more fall 2023 clothing from Walmart. And speaking of, today's video is sponsored by Walmart. So let's get into it, you guys. Okay, I spoke a lot the last few weeks about fall basics or basics in general. You really do need foundation pieces that you can mix and match with all of the fall trends. So that's exactly what I'm showing you right now. Before I show you the clothing, let me show you my jewelry. I am wearing my large gold octagon hoops. I love these because you don't need to wear a necklace. They do it for you. If I had a necklace here, it might be just a bit too much. My six pack of gold stretchy beaded bracelets, love these. These are by Time and True, so are the earrings. And that is it for jewelry from Walmart. So let me show you this shirt, you guys. Speaking of time and true, this is a very thin sweater. It's in a heathered gray. I love the detail on the shoulder there. You guys see that? I also love the boat neck. I think, again, that is so flattering. I think last week I showed you a crew neck that had sort of a wider crew neck like a boat neck. You guys, these are super flattering on most people. They just broaden you up here a bit and cover your chest. I don't know, it just evens me out. I find them to be very, very flattering. Nice long sleeve on this guy, and I am wearing it in a size small, and I have plenty of room. It is a relaxed fit, something new for me. <laughs> you guys know how I like. Don't worry though, we'll have more of my edgy stuff coming. And it's just really nice. I'm like, wow, they're gonna be like, Liz, what happened to you? But you know, just a nice, comfy, cozy sweater. And I paired it with, these Ponte pants by Scoop. These have that split front, you guys, and they also have a really cool sewn seam down the leg that has a faux leather strip. Hopefully that is showing up on camera or I will insert a picture to show you. So those are those details that I always tell you to look for when you're looking at affordable clothing that make things look a little bit more high end. Again, these are Ponte. If you're not familiar with Ponte, it is a stretchy fabric, but there's something about it. It's a little thicker and I feel that it acts as compression almost, holds you in a bit. You're not just all loosey-goosey in some, you know, knit fabric. It is a great knit fabric. Now, I personally, <laughs> when I'm wearing anything knit as far as pants, especially if I'm wearing this outfit to work, I prefer to have the back covered up, something a little longer, either a cardigan flowing behind me, a blazer, or a long shirt. So that's why I chose this shirt to pair with these Ponte pants. So here's the look without doing my little tuck that I like to do. And here is the back. Now, I do wanna show you without anything how smoothed out I am. The seams are going straight up to the waist. These are high-waisted, also holding you in. No lumps or bumps, and that is the magic of that Ponte fabric. Again, if you're not familiar with it, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I feel like these will be nice and warm as the weather changes. And additionally, you can go ahead and put your boots on once we get into boot season. Right now, of course, I paired this look with my clear strap studded sandals, but the black mules that I've been showing you would look great with these. Uh, any boots that you wanna wear would look great as well. Um, I'm just going to show you them without the shirt. I'm wearing them in a size, size small or size four. These are in a four, which is a four six. So much you can do with these, you guys. You can wear them to work with something long, like I mentioned, or a blazer or cardigan, or you can jazz them up and wear them out on the weekends. All right, guys, back with my next look. And before I get into everything I'm wearing, I just wanna make sure that you guys are following me over on Instagram and TikTok. It's just like it is here. In fact, all of my social handles are Life and Style by Liz. I know you're shocked. All right, you guys, let's uh, go over jewelry. I have my small gold hoops on. They're a little thicker. I really do like these. They show up well against my dark hair. And you don't always want big giant earrings, so I think they kind of go for different situations. And then I just grabbed my bangle bracelet. It's all in one, but it looks like three, and I love that. That's it for jewelry. I'm going very basic. Uh, speaking of basics, yet again, I am wearing a t-shirt, you guys, by Time and True. I know, I know you guys are looking at the blazer going, what's that? I know, it's so cute. Anyway, um, I bought a two-pack of Time and True, just plain t-shirts, you guys. You know, since everything trending right now is a cardigan or a uh, blazer or a shacket, you need basics for underneath all of that stuff. So we used to call them shells. You guys remember that? 
I need a shell for under my suit. So I just got these t-shirts. I have shown you, of course, the five pack of camis and I may show that at some point today, but right now just showing you regular old t-shirt. I paired it with this gorgeous blazer. Now, if I can move off my hair, you can actually see the clothing. This is a double breasted blazer by Sofia Vergara. Check out the lining, you guys. Is that not adorable? Also, I want to tell you the quality of this blazer is unbelievable. It is a very heavy blazer. When I say heavy, I don't mean that in anything negative as far as like, oh, you're going to be sweating to death or something like that. I mean, it is very well made. Everything is lined. The sleeves are lined. You can see I folded them back a bit just to see that it's really cute leopard and it's double breasted. It's gorgeous, you guys. I absolutely love it. Now I paired it with jeans uh, because I just wanted to cash up the look. I wasn't going for, you know, like a super conservative look. But I paired them again with those braided jeans by Celebrity Pink that I showed you last week. Remember, they're in a junior's size. So I did size up. I'm wearing them in a size nine. Blazer's a small, t-shirt is a small. Also showing you, I wanted to wear a flare leg because you guys, I finally did it. I pulled the trigger and got a pair of loafers, which have been trending since last year. They're really trending right now. And I just thought, because I have big feet, that a flare leg would look better with these chunky Lux Sold Penny Loafers. Let me show them to you up close. They're so cute, you guys. I love that the chain is black. They're by Madden NYC. Look at that gorgeous lug sole. I absolutely picture these with like a pair of black tights and a mini skirt. How cute retro 90s would that be? Seriously, you guys, remember the old, okay, this will take you back, the Britney Spears video. She had the little plaid skirt on. I think she had loafers and knee socks on. We're not going to go there, but we can certainly bring these back and put them on with tights, dresses, anything to the knee would be so cute, you guys. Talk about elongating your legs. I will make sure to show you these with tights as we get into the season. You guys will love that look. All right, so let me back up and show you again. Here's the back of the blazer. It has a little vent at the bottom. It was sewn very nicely with that temporary stitch. I did take that out so that you could see the full blazer. And there it is. And then I think pairing it with jeans is just adorable. This whole look here is really cute. Now this would be one you can certainly wear to work if you are allowed to wear denim or jeans. And you can absolutely wear this on your Friday casual days. Let me take this off. It is warm, you guys, and heavy. It is amazing. It is in a very soft fabric. Look at that lining. All the way through to the sleeves. It has shoulder pads in there, double-breasted, very well-made. Loving this one, you guys, but I do feel a lot better with it off. Wow, it's getting warm in here. Even little old Buffalo is having a heat wave. I know I always talk about Texas and Florida and Arizona, but wow, we're getting it here. Don't worry, you'll hear me complain about the cold very soon, I promise. Uh, so these are the jeans again, if you hadn't seen last week's video, and if you haven't, where have you been? I'm kidding. Um, but they're by Celebrity Pink, again, size nine. The cute thing about these jeans is they have that cute little braided waist, the pockets in the back, and I love that flare leg, especially if you're wearing a chunky shoe. I just think that looks so good. You know, I don't know how smaller feet would manage, but imagine wearing a skinny jean and a chunky shoe it would look horrible on me, but you know, I don't know. I just prefer um, either like a straight leg or a flare leg when I'm wearing a chunky shoe. All right, you guys, I am going to get into my next look, fix my hair because it's all over the place and I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, we go over beauty items at the end of the video. Today I have my usual lip combo, but I also have one other item that I've really been enjoying. And today I'm gonna show you my nails as well because they are from Walmart. All right, guys, back with my next look. Now I am wearing a shirt that is my own from Time and True. It's the Hashi shirt, H-A-C-C-I. They are still selling these. I don't believe this particular color is uh, still available. However, there's a pretty orangey color, a pretty red color that would look good as well with what I'm wearing. And also the old fallback in black would be great as well. So just showing you this shirt. Now I did switch out some jewelry. I'm wearing my large gold medallion necklace along with my diamond shaped gold earrings. And I think these accessories look great. I tried to go through every fall color and put it all in together. I'm wearing these gorgeous brown faux leather pants, you guys. Believe it or not, these are by Time and True. Time and True is really stepping it up with their edgy looks. I know for the most part they were, you know, kind of known for more basics or workwear. 
but I think these are gorgeous. And yes, I believe that you can wear these to work. They're in a pleated wide leg style and that would be perfectly fine. They're not fitted at all. Here is the back, two pockets in the back. They have belt loops in them. And again, those two front plates I think are so cute. And I paired them with sandals. Of course, you can wear all your cute mules and booties with this look as well. I think you guys will love these. Now, if you've not tried the full leather trend yet, I think that this would be a good place for you all to jump in because again, they are very forgiving. They're not like skin tight, edgy, where you're like, oh, that's not my look. You're getting into the full leather in a normal, you know, sort of trouser style pant with a nice wide leg, nothing is too fitted or too tight. I think this would make a good entrance into the faux leather trend that is everywhere, you guys. You can't escape it, I'm telling you. All right, you guys, I am gonna change into my next look and I'll be right back. What's up, you guys? I'm back with my next look. Again, I just was over on Instagram, dancing around, throwing things around my room. Anyway, speaking of faux leather, this is a faux leather jacket, you guys, yes. So right now, I it's like torrential rain under here because I'm sweating, but I promise you it's going to get cold and this will look so cute with all kinds of outfits. You know what I was thinking about wearing it with you guys? All of my jumpsuits. You guys know, and if you don't, <laughs> I will announce this for everyone. I love tube jumpsuits, tube maxi dress, tube tops, anything tube your girl loves. I think it's because I have a short torso and they don't take up much room. Anyway, the point is, I think this would look so cute over a maxi dress or a jumpsuit. Anyway, I will show you how I styled it for you today. It's by Time and True. It's in a size small. It is the traditional jacket, but in a faux leather. I paired it with, yes, one of the camis from this five pack of camis. I mentioned it earlier that they may pop up and here they are. And you guys, I'm wearing, okay, these are no, by no boundaries. I do wear them in a size medium because they're a junior's brand. I almost thought I had entirely head to toe Time and true, but that's not true because we threw in a few, uh, a little bit of no boundaries. Anyway, talking too much. These jeans are so cute, you guys. They're a high rise. They're distressed. They have an unfinished hem at the bottom. They're kind of like an ankle cut. I paired them with those cute sneakers that we all love. You guys have seen these before. Love, love, love these sneakers. They're platform and they're so comfortable. I can't even begin. And I just think this is another cute Saturday running around weekend look saturday or sunday will allow you to wear it either day but i love how this looks and again all neutral colors everything's comfy i'm going to take the jacket off if i can peel it off because your girl is so warm it's insane <laughs> but here it is you guys and it is gorgeous is it a small sometimes i grab an extra small it is a size small just so you know these are mediums and then these jeans i'm wearing in a size four i have Lots of room. They're nice and stretchy. Here is the back of the jeans. Guys, these are so comfortable. I love the wash and I especially love that raw hem at the bottom. I don't, I wouldn't even call it raw. It's almost like shark bit. Like it's all distressed and whatnot at the bottom, which I kind of absolutely love. A little bit of grunge thrown in there. They would also look cute dressed up with um, maybe a blazer and some high heels. I'm just going for that running errands casual look right now. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It seems to be fading in and out of bright and dark. Hopefully this footage comes out okay. All right, you guys, I have one more look to show you. Then we're going to get to this lip combo and a couple of other things that I've collected that I think you guys absolutely need to go run and grab from Walmart because we love you, Walmart. You have everything we need, including beauty. So I will be back with all of that. All right, guys, back with my last and final look. Don't forget to wait till the end of this scene because we are gonna go over my lip combo and a few other things I've been collecting. <laughs> anyway, I am wearing my small gold medallion necklace. I will make sure to link for you. Also wearing, what do I call these? Like oblong hoops. They're linked in uh, my favorite jewelry by Walmart in the description box below. By the way, everything is linked in the description box below. I think you guys know that by now. Bracelet is the same. I am wearing that free assembly shirt that I showed you guys last week. I said it kind of gives me bodysuit vibes, which I love that fitted nice uh, look. However, it is not a bodysuit, super comfy. I'm wearing it in a size small and I paired it with this gorgeous cardigan. You guys, this one I picked up in store. It is by no boundaries. Look at the pattern on there. And if you feel it, it has a chenille feel to it but I don't quite get that vibe um, just looking at it, especially on camera. 
but I love it. It comes in a bunch of colors. I debated. I wanted to get black so badly, but I'm like, well, wear it with all your black. And so it'll stand out. And I did that. So I'm wearing this. I believe I got a size. Hold on. I got a medium on this one. So size up one on these no boundaries cardigans. I'll show it to you in better detail when I back up. I had to show you this, you guys. All right, this is by the Pioneer Woman. Have you guys purchased anything by Pioneer Woman as far as fashion? We know everyone loves all of her kitchen stuff. But isn't this so cute? It's in that pretty cognac faux leather. Look at that design on there. There's a name for it, of course, I don't know it. It's a tote style, which I love, very trending. And I don't know, I just thought it was perfect for fall, you guys. Again, this is another bag. It has a magnetic snap up at the top. And then here's the inside, nice and roomy with a few pockets. Um, but it just has that great vibe to it for fall. And again, I think you can fit your lunch in here if you wanted to have this kind of double as your work bag. All right, backing up and showing you, you guys are gonna be like, Liz, didn't you just show us those pants? These are Ponte pants with a split in front. Guess what, you guys? This pair is by Time and True. So what is the difference? And we'll talk about the booties in a second. The difference is these by Time and True are gonna be a little less flashy. They do have the seam up the front. It does not have the leather piping like the Scoop pair does. And I just feel like these are more for every day where the scoop pair, I would probably save for nights out and pair them, you know, maybe with the leather moto jacket that I have in my closet and I need to bring out and show you guys. But anyway, that's what I'm thinking. These are gonna be the more just sort of downplayed. You can make these very casual if you want because of the fact that they don't have all that leather. All right, now look at these booties, you guys. You will not believe, take a guess. Put in the comments below what your guess was, who made these? Who do you think is putting these out? They're so cute. So I kind of thought they gave, you know, we, we're doing fall color palette. Nothing's matchy matchy today. It's a fall color palette. Hopefully you'll, that's acceptable for you guys. Just like the leather pants were in a brown and then I had a cognac shirt. I'm just vibing with all the fall colors right now. Think of nature and put it all together. I promise you it's gonna work. It's not super matching, I know, but hopefully it's acceptable. All right, anyway, these are by No Boundaries, you guys. I was in shock that No Boundaries had such a gorgeous detailed booty. Look at those, stunning. And the best part about these, and I'm not sure if they come in other colors. I will put a picture up if they do. The best part is how comfortable they are. They do have memory foam, um, just like the Time and True. No Boundaries does memory foam as well. Plus, they're pretty much a flat. I mean, that's like a one inch heel, maybe. I'm in love with these, you guys. I think they would go with so many things, any kind of legging, certainly with a pair of flared jeans, um, so many different things. All your shackets, all your plaid shirts for fall. Put these boots on. All things Western, by the way, this, this is giving me Western vibes as well, you guys is uh, trending for fall 2023. All right, let me back up and show you real quickly the boots. So cute, you guys. And the split hem at the bottom is showing them off just perfectly. And hopefully you like this whole look. All right, I gotta take this off because you know how hot I get. I have so many things on this desk in front of me to show you to complete this haul. And they're just things that I've had and I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to show you in complete outfits. So let me bring them to you right now and then we'll get to the lip combo, I promise. Okay, first I'm gonna start with these slippers. You guys, I love Walmart for slippers. I've been wearing their slippers for years. I had the Birkenstock type slippers that they used to make. They don't make them anymore. They were by Secret Treasures. These here are very similar, which is why I picked them up. They have a nice bottom. They're super comfy. They're by Deer Foams and they're in that like off-white Sherpa Sherpa lining on the bottom there, it's nice and soft on the inside. If you guys know Deer Foams, they, the brand or the line here says cozy comfort. They're so cozy. And what I like about them is just like with the Birkenstock pair that I used to wear all the time, pairs, I had like four pairs, is that your feet are not gonna sweat because your toes are out. I know you feel like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be freezing in the mornings. I promise you, your toes are gonna love this little furry lining and not need a full slipper where you're gonna sweat. 
that's just my take. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, and then in addition to those, I want to, and I'll make sure to link those. These were, I believe, under tw well under $20, if not under $15. They were a great deal. Hopefully they're still available. I bought this really cute pair of penny loafers. I had the idea in my head to wear them with a very wide leg pair of jeans and like a black bodysuit. Well, I never got the rest of the outfit to complete and I've had them for a while, so I just wanna show them to you and get it over with because I think they're so unique and cute and I don't want them to be gone. All right, tell me what you think of these, you guys. Aren't they so cute and different? So you guys know I always complain about my big feet. So I cannot wear these just with anything. I prefer, you know, pants that would maybe come to here to kind of cut off <laughs> the length and the chunkiness of this shoe but I think they're so cute and they're giving me a little bit of Barbie vibes. I could see these with a pair of um, maybe light washed denim jeans and one of the cute Barbie t-shirts. I just think that would be so, so cute. Why is my face so itchy today? My hair gets on my face and it just itches. But aren't these so cute, you guys? So I'm gonna hold these up and hopefully you get the gist of how adorable they are. They're chunky, they're lug sole, they're by no boundaries, they have the memory foam and they are awesome. So I'll make sure to link those for you guys. All right, let's get to this lip combo, you guys. Oh, first I'm gonna show you my nails. These are by Modern Art, which is a brand that Walmart sells in their beauty. They are nice and short with a cute design. I had these a few months ago and I love them so much, I got them again. You guys know I'm super into press-on nails. I wear the Impress brand a lot, which is also sold at Walmart. But lately these are my go to because modern art has a ton of different designs and I always make sure they're nice and short. Okay, that's that. The other thing I've been wearing and absolutely loving. So you know how people put their foundation on and they use a primer? I've never been one to want to layer all that stuff on because I use a moisturizer, sometimes a serum in the morning depending on what I'm doing for my routine and then a sunscreen, because I'm very, very into sunscreen. It's just too much to continue with that and then do a primer and then foundation. I mean, I, I feel like I would be melting, right? So I found this sunscreen that has hyaluronic acid in it, which if you don't know, hyaluronic acid will draw water to the surface of the skin and it almost fills in fine lines. I'm not kidding you. I think I've been telling you guys this for years. This sunscreen by Eucerin from Walmart has hyaluronic acid in it and it's a 50. Hypoallergenic, unscented, it's not gonna bother anyone who has sensitive skin. And the best part is it's a mineral sunscreen, which means it physically blocks the sun. It's not the chemical kind. So you can go ahead, and this is one tip for you guys, anything with hyaluronic acid like this, I like to pat under my eyes because I want water to be drawn there because that's crepey thin skin. You guys know how it is. I'm 51, gonna be 52 in less than half a year. So I would like to get rid of any fine lines I can with any assistance I can and this stuff has been doing it for me, you guys. I love it as a primer for under my makeup. And of course the 50 is great. Also, it's not chemical. So it will not burn your eyes. So you can go and freely pat it underneath your eyes and you don't have to worry about it getting into your eyes and making your eyes stick. So Eucerin Age Defense Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen Lotion for Face. I will make sure to link it. Did I give you all the great details that I love about it? All right. Finally, we're getting to the lip combo. I came in with Milani Nude Entrance. There's that color. I know all my stuff's dirty. And I lined a little beneath, a little above. I let it drop down on the sides. Then I filled in with Bare Reveal. This one's by Maybelline. This one's in a nice cream. So if you have dry lips, this feels really good going on. It's a cream, but not glossy. And it's not a matte that's gonna dry you out. Now, where's my center highlight? Okay, wait till you guys see what I used for a center highlight. You're gonna be like, huh? This is my center highlight. I know, you guys are going, what? This is by e.l.f. and this is one of their bite-sized eyeshadows. This one is called Hot Jalapeno. I've had this for a while, I've shown it to you guys before. So here is what I did. Now, I just took my middle finger, put that much on it, and I pat right in the center. A little bit more. 
Do you see how that golden center just shines? Do you see that, you guys? This guy did that. And then if you are brave, put a little here, like right on the base of the lid there, just dot it on with your finger, no fancy brushes needed. And it, it will kind of like reflect, you know, and sort of match. I don't know what I'm saying, but it works, trust me. I'm not a makeup, um, I'm not a makeup YouTuber. I would love to be, but I'm not good at it. My makeup's messy. I don't do things in order. I have done quite a few tutorials. They're not my favorite to do because I feel like I'm super disorganized and I take too long. But anyway, that's why I do my little segment at the end of these videos to give you little tips that I find that work for me. And I am super pumped about this, you guys. You know how you get a new product and you're like, oh, is this gonna work? And then when it does, you're, it's like your new favorite thing. You almost get excited to get ready. That's how I feel about this stuff. It's been selling out as well. So hopefully it's uh, in stock at one. All right, you guys, I think I gave it all to you today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.